Okay, everybody, so that is that. Um, that's been a long video series. I don't know how long that's going to be after editing. Uh, congratulations on making it to the end. Check out the CHP website. Check out the documents that I make uh, link below. I'm going to document the heck out of this. This is a preamble to what should be a way more succinct um, uh, future videos if and when I choose to run for politics uh, and try to make a difference. I reluctantly run because I kind of don't want to run in some ways, but I am kind of forced to because of how messed up our government is. It's kind of like the preamble uh, the Ezekiel verses, whereas I am obligated as a watchman and a witness for our church and uh, for my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, if I don't warn the people, the people's blood is on me. But my job is to be a watchman and a witness. I can I can witness and tell you what I see coming, and the evils that are out there, and the issues that are out there. But if you don't do anything about it, that's your fault. But, so if you keep voting the same way you're voting, that's your fault. But my job is to let you know that there's options out there. We need your help. We need your, uh, we need your financial help. Uh, donate to the main parties. Donate to the local EDAs. We for sure need your physical help. We need your bodies. We need your... Um, we need your physical support for EDAs. We need good leaders, people willing to stand up and be a good accountants for us, for different EDAs. We need people, we need just a handful of people, little tiny kind of Bible study group or something like that, just a handful of people in each writing to actually say, hey, we're going to stand up and do something in our own backyard, right? Because right now we only have a handful of Christians across Canada willing to stand up. You know how many, we have like, um, over 330 some ridings and we only got like 33 sets of ridings you know that have a handful of people in them willing to do anything we barely have any members in the majority of our ridings like seriously Canada doesn't have any Christians you know or, or Canada doesn't have any moral people willing to stand up for at least moral moral rights and moral ambitions you know and to hold the line on certain topics maybe you don't agree with every single thing in the Bible duh but if you can still agree that it's nice to have you know a government run on morals thou shall not steal that's a good moral thou shall not kill that's a good moral right thou shall not lie we're the only policy that actually has that hard written everybody else is allowed to that's called politics. You vote for them. You do it every single time, and you wonder why you get what you get. So vote for the CHP. We need your help. We need your uh, physical, and on top of that, we need your spiritual. Because we fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the spiritual world, to wake people up to these concepts. So we don't care if you are a Christian or not. You can still get behind us. We can still use your money. We can still make this country a moral government, uh, moral, um, you know, and at least stem the tide of corruption. If you don't stand against corruption, you stand for it, right? If you don't stand up against uh, evil, then, you know, if the only thing... You know, what does the quote say? The only thing, you know, for evil to run wild kind of thing is for good men and women not to do anything. So right now you might not be doing anything. And I encourage you to do something. Get involved. Give me an email. Drop me a line. Um, pass these videos on. Share them around. But we need your time. We need your money. We need your resources. We need your prayers. <laughs> and we need a whole bunch of Canadians across all of Canada to stand up. We need a president, uh, somebody willing to at least just be a figurehead and be president on paper, and somebody at the very least be willing to take care of a little bit of financial issues. Super, super, super easy. You can be trained up in that in a matter of a few minutes. Ideally, they're kind of mathematical or accountant type people. And then you usually need a few other people willing to kind of coordinate a handful of four or five people of value willing to sign on members of uh, the CHP and you can start an EDA and now with an EDA then you just commit to having regular meetings 
once a month, once every few months, and um, and it gets the ball rolling. And then when it comes to election time, you can actually uh, do things like fundraising and build awareness, build membership, and be those watchmen and witnesses on the wall. Uh, and be recognized federally and then at some point you can get a candidate that will run in your backyard and then you can as a party both support him locally as a local EDA and fed and the, the main CHP office we can help rally around you guys as well but somebody's got to stand up somewhere so this is uh, me doing some videos both for the by-election and for you know maybe the election in 2019 and beyond so the internet is wonderful. These videos can stay up for as long as they need to. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, bye everybody and God bless.